One of the problems I managed to solve with Squarespace in particular was to be able to take a Google Docs or Microsoft Word table and then use a converter called div table as shown here and then bring it into a website as a HTML table and better than that it's also fully responsive as well. We're not going to redo that video today but one question I had is can we do it with spreadsheets? This will be a two-parter. The first part will show you how to create a HTML table from a Google Sheets spreadsheet, but I'm almost certain this will work with Microsoft Excel as well. We're then going to take it into DivTable, which is the tool that I use. It's free, it's online, and it's really easy to use. And that will generate the HTML code for your table. It also means that you can bring the HTML code back into this to edit the table using a proper WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Editor. So that's fantastic. Finally, then, how we can import it into a page like this and then add some very basic styling to make sure that the table fills the screen and we've got bold headings if we want to go down that route. What we won't be showing in this particular part, which we will be showing in the next part, is how we can then style it. For example, having alternating background colors for the rows, how we can maybe even add some underlines or borders, etc. We won't worry about that right now, but stay tuned for the next chapter we'll be covering that. So let's crack on. I'm going to show you a template timesheet that Google Sheets have available for us. I haven't done any editing on this. The only thing I have done is more proof of concept. You can actually just copy this and use this into div table and it'll work absolutely fine. What it will do is it will take out the formatting. What I've done as a proof of concept is I've literally just copied that section pasted it in here without any formatting just to show that it'll work if you don't have all the fancy formatting in place. I now press Control C with all of the cells I need copied and then we go across the div table. Because I went to, I can't remember the section I went to, I think it was converter here. So I've just gone back to divtable.com, the main landing page, then go to converter and now we can see we've got the HTML in the right and we've got our option to paste our content in on the left. Wow, well that's worked really well straight up. We can see the formatting, the structure is as we want it to be. Everything's in place. So a couple of things that we can do now is just highlight, for example, the Monday to Friday, and I could either use Control B for bold or Control I for italics. And I think we're gonna do bold and italics for those. This top row here, we're going to make bold. And then the projects down the left hand side, we're going to make bold as well. It helps if I select the entirety of the word. There we go. And here we don't have the total. So I'm going to write that in. There we go. So whilst I'm doing this, you may be asking, why don't I just create a table in Squarespace? Well, crazily enough, there is no option to create tables in Squarespace and other website builders won't have that functionality as well. So that's why we need to use third party tools to allow us to achieve what we want to. Okay, I think that's the formatting we want to do on each of the individual cells. But if I select the table, we can go to this table menu and then go to table properties. We've got to make sure the entire table is selected. We can change the width, but we're going to do that later on at the final stage. We've got border here set to one. So what we might do is just remove that border effect altogether and then add a little bit of cell padding. So that just gives a bit more space between the lines and the text. So we can see dotted lines now, that means that will not appear on the website. Yeah, we've got our table. So I'm gonna click in this right-hand side now and press Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac, Control C to copy. And now we're gonna come across to this demo page that I've created on our Pixel Haze Academy website. I'm going to get rid of all of that code that was in there. And just to show you 
it's gone back to blank. Double click on it. This is in a code block. If you're in Squarespace, add a code block. And then you can choose the size of that block. I'm now going to get rid of that Hello World title and paste our table in there. If you wanted to put a title for your table, I'd recommend doing that using text blocks outside of this code block because tables have to be handled through code blocks. Okay, so we've got that in place. It's looking okay, but a little bit cluttered. We're not using the full width. And we can see column width at 100, so that's okay. After table, and we can drop it in anywhere here, we can copy this formatting. Sometimes I'll just literally copy and paste the formatting in, and then change that to width. And here we're going to put 100, and then add the percentage. So that will now expand to fill the width of the container. Okay, looking at it now, we might want to make that total text block a little bit bigger. So we can go down here, we can scroll right the way to the bottom. And we might want to put that in a heading tag. Now I didn't try this in the practice run, but it should work fine. So if I go with H4, for example, don't know why it put the total in there. And I'm going to wrap that around that text. So we can see now that the H4 now is applied to that grand total at the bottom. We could try it as a heading three if we felt we needed a little bit more impact. There we go. So now we have some basic formatting for our table and that's looking quite nice, but we may want to add some more advanced styling, which we'll cover in the next chapter. But to wrap up with this one, I'm going to copy that from there now, head back to this div table, select the entirety of the HTML area and paste it in. And we can see now that this table is spanning 100% width and we have a heading three in the total area. So if we want to manipulate, edit this table again afterwards, that's what we can do. We can drop the HTML back into this converter tool and it allows us to edit it using the WYSIWYG editor. If there's nothing else that you found really valuable in this section, this tool is just fantastic. I couldn't recommend it more. That's divtable.com. I'll put a link in for you as well. Cheers. See you next time.